Hey there folks and good morning and welcome back for another video. And today we're going to actually record all three passes because we're going to use a razor for the first time on video. Now this is a, a special razor. This is the Fine uh, Slant which is a plastic. I don't know if it's a polymer or what type of plastic material it is but it's a uh, sort of a Bakelite like razor. However I'm not sure of the uh, material and I was going to use Velober today but because we're using the fine razor, I'm going to use the uh, fine soap. And there have been some information floating around about this being medium in strength. And I'm going to tell you, this is one of the more strongly scented soaps that I've ever used. Um, I used this last week and it was wonderful. And I don't expect anything different today. I liked it so much so that I bought a second one, uh, second one from Maggard. Um, because it's just a, the scent. I really love it. And the... Uh, the quality was very, very nice. And to me, it's my favorite uh, barbershop scent. And a lot of people criticized me uh, during last week's video when I said, hey, for me, this is going to be, you know, uh, uh, tough to beat. And I stand by that and I'm using it again today. It's that good for me. Okay. As to the razor, we'll go ahead and uh, give you a look at it. Again, extremely light. So if you're into light razors, you know, this may be for you. On the other hand, if you're looking for some heft, keep in mind, this is going to be very, very light. Don't expect um, it to feel like um, a metal razor, brass, stainless, whatever, even aluminum, because it's very, very light. And there's a look at it. And we'll go ahead and load uh, Astra SP blade into the razor. And we will lock it down. All right, there we go. And there's the way the blade sits in there. All right, let's wet the face. Or actually, let's uh, put my fine soap in a container here. I'm gonna use the uh, Tiki Big Kahuna brush today. Let's get it wet and let's uh, actually load the brush <laughs> before we wet the face. Kind of be hard to wet the face and get soap on it without having, um, without having loaded the brush first all right let's see what we got here oh yeah this this soap smells wonderful if you're into that um, fine American blend scent it's based on some cologne that I can't recall what it is but to me it's a very very nice scent I noticed the battery on my phone is is low so I may only get this first pass in today even though I had intended on um, getting three passes with this razor, but that's okay. We'll do it in a spotlight-like fashion. All right. Oh, man, what is it? Let's get a little more water there. Got it on my nose. All right. Again, I really enjoyed this soap last week, and uh, so we're rolling with it again. So we've got our load. Let's wet the face and get going. Smells really, really nice, this soap. To me, like I said uh, last week, it is really a, a strong contender um, to be my favorite barbershop scent, if not already. I mean, you, you can tell whether you like the scent immediately. You don't really have to study it all that much. You do need to use it because different notes sometimes come out. but. Once you've used it, you know whether you like a scent or not. So when you say, you know, this is quickly elevating to the top of my barbershop list. Yeah, it is. Um, I enjoy it that much. And when you've used as many soaps as I have, it doesn't take long generally to figure it out. Now, sometimes your mind can change and, and you should always keep an open mind. And I do. And sometimes my opinion will change and I'll come back and tell you when it does um, but if your opinion never changes or if it's incapable of changes changing I should say you're not keeping an open enough mind in my opinion all right nice leather here uh, I tell you again both in the quality and scent front I find this to be very very nice all right we will roll with our fine slant and this was sent to me 
Oh, that's nice. By Mr. Fine some a while back, and he wanted my uh, private feedback on it, and I was not allowed to talk about it. And by the way, for those of you who will, will assume I'm on the take inaccurately, after I finish with this today, it's uh, going to be sent to another shaver. I'm not keeping it for myself. And I generally don't. There are very few instances where an artisan or someone will actually say, that's a gift uh, for you and I'd like you to keep it, but that's few and far between. So when I'm sent stuff, I generally uh, give it away when I'm finished using it. For those of you who are skeptical, there you go. Put that in your little pipe and smoke it. But don't joke on it. Because the truth is sometimes hard to swallow. And it will make you choke. I gotta tell you. This thing is a nice shaver. Um, it's weird because I'm used to stainless steel and heavier razors. So you do have to get over that hurdle. Of it uh, being lightweight. But as far as the shave. It produces a really nice shave. Now obviously I can't tell you um, you know how it will hold up over time I don't have a clue it is appears to be well built but man I gotta tell you the shave on this is surprisingly good I think this is my third time using it I use it twice before I told mr. fine I used it once but I actually used it twice um, and both times I came off being surprised at how well it shaved for, for me. Um, if you can get by that lack of uh, weight, uh, I think you know it's entirely possible that you will enjoy it. It shaves better than it feels for me because I'm used to weight. Um, so uh, I think it's you know uh, definitely a nice shaver. And inspector, this will be coming to you after I use it today. All right, we will wrap this. Um, spotlight portion up. We'll come back with the post because I don't have enough battery to record all three passes, but we will come back and uh, tell you how the other passes went, so stay tuned for that. All right, I didn't record the second pass, but I'm going to try to sneak this third pass in. Um, the way I would characterize this razor, by the way, surprisingly good shaver, if I had to sort of sum it up in just a few words. Because it's so light, my expectations were not very high in terms of the shade. I don't know if you can hear this, but don't know if that is coming across, but you can get a little feedback out of it. It's not super loud, but one thing about this razor, you could definitely tell it's doing its work. It's not, it's mild, but it's not so mild that you can't feel a little blade on your face and, and feel the razor doing its work. So to me it's a surprisingly good shaver and honestly when I first used it I did not expect it. Um, it just felt too light. I don't know I just associate weight with something good a lot of times. Um, and this one kind of defies that um, nice again um, surprisingly good shaver would be the way I characterize this uh, how long it would last probably a very long time I don't have a clue uh, and no one does but um, I gotta say it has provided for a very nice shave here and again not keeping this for you guys and, and like I said earlier there have been only a few cases and situations where an artisan or someone sent me a gift and uh, you know maybe two times ever where I said reluctantly kept it these always go out to other people so again put that in your pipe smoke it but don't choke on it truth let's uh, get our Thayers on here just magic because it's made by witches 
got to tell you, I'm pretty impressed with that razor. It's just, it kind of shocks me, to be honest with you. Is it the best shaver that I have, or the best shaver ever? No. Um, can it run with a lot of the ones I have? Yeah. It's just a nice shaver. I mean, it's, uh, and I, get, I guess, again, I'm surprised because it's, I just didn't expect it to shave as well as it does, given it's so light. But it really does. Good design, I think. All right, we're going to use the fine American blend to go along with our fine soap. And again, the fine soap, guys, today, again, I feel the same way about it. I really like it. I think in terms of barbershop scents, it is in there with the best of them and maybe for me the best scent. It's quite strong oh, and it just smells nice. Uh, here's a look at the Big Kahuna brush by Tiki, which was very, very nice as well. This soap really hit the spot um, once again. So my feelings are exactly the same as the first time that I used it. Uh, I really, really like it. This uh, definitely elevating to the top of my barbershop uh, scented uh, list of soaps. Really, really like it. And again, the fine, let's see if you can get a perhaps a closer look at that. The fine slant razor um, provide for a surprisingly good shape. I don't know why I'm shocked. Um, I don't know. It just provided for a for a nice shave. So if you're in the market for a light razor, this would be a great travel razor, by the way, because you wouldn't have to worry about it being banged up and it's very, very light. Would, wouldn't have burned it, burden you in weight. Um, that's for sure. Um, nice design, nice shaver. What's to say other than uh, it turned out very nice. So Inspector, this is coming to you. All right, guys. So thanks as always for watching. And I want to remind you, keep them up, keep them open, and follow the money to get to the truth.